Gangnam Style, of course, has been getting a lot of attention. It's the most viewed video on YouTube. So naturally, Fox News wants to jump on the Psy bandwagon, but instead of saying, hey, look at this South Korean guy who's really successful and he's doing really great things, they've decided, no, we're going to call him anti-American and bring up a video that he did a decade ago. Now, the video in question features Psy basically singing, singing an anti-American military song. And the reason why he did that is because uh, back in 2002, June of 2002 to be specific, American soldiers accidentally ran over two South Korean girls, 14-year-old schoolgirls, as they were walking to a birthday party. Now, uh, these soldiers were in the tank because they were doing some sort of training. I don't really understand why there were pedestrians there, mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, these two girls got run over and as a result they died. Now the two soldiers did get tried. Uh, they had charges uh, including negligent homicide. However, uh, under a court martial, they were, their case was acquitted. They were acquitted. Mm -hmm. um, so they never really faced any type of consequence for it. And as a result, at that period in time, Psy, along with other members uh, of South Korea, protested the decision uh, in court. Now, this video of Psy has resurfaced a lot of people are questioning why he was so angry in it. Let's take a look at it and then we'll discuss our opinion. Okay, so that's just a little snippet of it. But basically, uh, he calls for a slow and painful death or killing of U.S. military members, which I do agree goes way too far. As you can see, he's smashing a U.S. tank. Um, and he's doing this in protest of what happened to those two 14-year-old girls. Now, he has uh, apologized for this. Um, and as I mentioned, it happened a decade ago. But the reason why I'm kind of giving him a little bit of a pass is because imagine if two 14-year-old girls were murdered on our soil, mm -hmm. right? And of course people would be outraged by it, uh, especially if uh, they were charged with negligent homicide and, and uh, n there was no consequence for what happened. Mm -hmm. um, so I could understand his rage. A lot of South Koreans were upset over what happened. Um, and I I I'm going to give Sai a little bit of a pass here. Okay, I think that's interesting. There are obviously a lot of angles on this. First off, this is actually the first time I watched the video. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed at how far his uh, musical style has evolved, and I'd say improved since then. Mm -hmm. The death metal doesn't really suit his style, I don't think. Um, I, I don't really agree with the initial way that you frame this, that, that this is Fox sort of like making a story out of nothing. No, let me, say, let me tell you why I'm, I'm saying that. First okay. of all, this, this story kind of uh, broke this morning, mm -hmm. okay? And of course, a lot of different news outlets talked about it and how um, you know people are critical of the video but of course then you have Fox News that took the video and took it to another level so they featured a picture of President Obama shaking hands with Psy oh, of course and it said something like anti-American rage or something like that you know there was some sort of banner so it made it seem like first of all the Obama administration is being anti-American because yeah. he happened to shake Psy's hand at some point in the in the past and also they totally glossed over the fact that there were South Koreans that were legitimately mm. angry over something that Americans would also be angry about if it happened to us. So that's, that's all I'm saying. And by the way, just to be crystal clear so no one misrepresents what I'm trying to say, the lyrics of that song where you're calling for a slow and painful death of U.S. military members, I am not for that at all. That mm -hmm. goes way too far. But I can understand the anger. Yeah, look, if, if you know anything about the history of this particular conflict and the fact that we've had soldiers there for so long, this is not an isolated incident. It happens from time to time that, that civilians are killed both in South Korea, in, in Japan, at some of our bases. And I totally understand that there's been extremely long-lasting and lingering problems with that. Um, and I, I don't think that we should hate Psy necessarily. It was a long time ago. And I know my, me personally, around the same time, in the wake of 9-11, of this is just shortly after that, um, I definitely expressed some political views that I would be ashamed of now, I would imagine. A person can develop quite a bit over almost a decade. But at the same time, I'd be lying if I said that this didn't uh, make me look at him a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and it goes to really the lyrics that you talked about. Like, talking about the death of the soldiers, fine, you're responding to a tragedy, but talking about killing the soldiers' families. Yeah, that goes too far. That's it does why, go that's, too far. That's why I'm saying, I mean, I, I, I think that a lot of people are are focusing on the lyrics, which are unacceptable. I don't agree with the lyrics, but also at that moment of time, you come from a place of anger, and I think yeah. that it's a little unfair to paint people as black or white. You know what I mean? And well, in he's this Asian, case, technically, yep, right. Yeah, anyway, well, okay, 
Uh, <laughs> you're the worst. Um, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, you're taking the. If you took me at my angriest moment and you judged me based on the things that I said in my angriest moment, mm -hmm. you would think that I'm a hideous human being. That's true. And and look, from what I've read, he didn't even write this. Some other group wrote it. For all we know, at this time, he was desperately trying to get on the stage with any group he could. I don't know the the content of his his career. Um, but I, I don't really like what he said. But at the same time, that doesn't change the fact that he wrote an incredibly catchy song and it happens to be one of the best videos ever produced. Those things remain true. I'll continue to appreciate it, even if I don't watch it necessarily as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. But I do think it's an interesting story. And because Psy is really representative of the fact that mainstream America is now discovering K-pop and discovering the fact that this exists in the world, even if we weren't seeing it up until this point all that often, if you're not like 15 or 16 and into you know, anime or something, mm -hmm. um, but that it exists. And so it, it's only natural that we would want to learn more about the ambassador of this sort of music to us. And so I certainly don't think it's illegitimate to talk about this. The lyrics are pretty incendiary. Yeah. Um, but I think that you just have to put it in context of other things that you know about him and understand that it was a long time ago.